folks, it's Rob here at the Video Gadgets Journal and we are talking yet again about the Airshow video recordings playback issue. Now in one of my previous videos I showed you a fix on how to watch the videos in a player which accepted the video format but I've got a couple of questions about that in terms of okay I can watch it on this player but then how do I watch it on my photo gallery and then maybe edit it upload it to YouTube so let's just clarify the situation for you to give you a bit of a helping hand we do an air show recording and if we have it in the application itself and we try and play it simple play you're going to get a black screen and nothing's going to happen that's going to help you if you copy to your camera roll you'll get a gray screen so there's not much help there from iOS in terms of default applications so what I showed you in a previous video was how to get this video playing so you could actually watch and hear what you did and to do that tap on the video and then tap on open in and if you've downloaded VLC which I'll leave a link in the description you can copy the file over to VLC and then you can actually play the video within VLC and that's demonstrated there fine so it proves that although the video doesn't play back properly on iOS devices it has recorded it correctly with the visuals and the audio but iOS is just struggling to play it now a few people asked okay so you can copy the video to VLC how do I then get it to my camera roll well if you wanted to do that you can long press on the file then select it so it's got an orange tick on it then press the share button down in the top uh, bottom left and say video and that's going to save it to your camera roll but that doesn't solve anything because in the camera roll it's still not going to give you a playable video format as you can see there it's just grey again because what VLC does is only plays a video it doesn't convert it to give you any sort of helping hand it's just there as a playback feature now if your intention is to copy this recording onto a computer such as a PC or a Mac and then edit it through a video editor there then you should be fine the PC or Mac should be able to cope with the video file but if you want to keep things in house on an iOS device then what you're going to have to do is convert the file and this is converting it from an MP4 to an MOV video and I've shown you how to do this in previous uh, tutorial fixes the best way to do it currently is to try an application called IconV and let me just do another very quick demonstration of how this works you have to first of all import the video from local libraries and you should be able to tell which video it is because it will have a time index of 18 seconds and it's called a uh, screen recording with show 0 0.50 so tap on there import that brings it into the application then press done and I think if we refresh our screen here we should be able to see the video appear and when the video has been imported then you want to convert it and you do that by tapping on the video itself tapping convert and then tapping default don't change any settings and that should simply turn it from an mp4 file into an mov file so when the conversion process has finished you should be able to notice the difference from the source file which is an mp4 and the converted file which is an MOV file and if I try and play this with any look you should be able to see now that I have visuals as well as the audio and with this application what you would need to do next is tap on it and save it to the photo camera roll which it should do now the big limitation with this converter is that if you don't pay for it then you can only do one conversion I think every two hours so if you're stocking up videos it could take a couple of days to get them from the air show recordings to something that's converted and that you can actually use and if we now take a look at the camera roll we should be able to see that we have the original video that didn't work the grey thumbnail and now the converted file which does play successfully so to summarize what I've told you in this video you have the option to simply play back a air show recording using VLC if you want to edit it and upload it to YouTube then you will have to convert it by using an application such as icon V which is limited but it should do the job you want it to do there's also another option which is M converter medias converter 
which converts the video in a similar way, but in order to get that video onto your iOS device outside of the application, you have to email it to yourself, and there should be a video on that either now or very soon in the future. It depends which order I upload these videos. So there you have it folks, the current situation with Airshow until they fix it, which they are telling me they are going to do, but I just don't know when. I hope that clarifies what's currently happening with Airshow recordings in terms of playback and converting. It can be done, it's just a little clunky. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.